A very good afternoon and welcome to AW Services. A warning of strobing images for anybody watching this video. As you may see, there are strobing lights. I thought I'd give that warning for those of you that suffer with light affected epilepsy. So today's video subject is on beacons and light bars. Many of you that work in certain building trades, window cleaners, pressure washing guys, gardeners, grounds maintenance, lots of people that follow me and I follow them and people in general public are using beacons on their vehicles for when they're working. So for example, we have a roof mounted magnetic beacon with magnetic suction cups. These are also available in one bolt design so you can bolt them to your roof. We have our windscreen or windshield suction mounted beacons that are directional and then we have our cheap Chinese knockoff beacons that are absolute rubbish they look nice they're not legal and they're absolute garbage as an example for this video so for anyone working on the highway so if you're working on a road for example washing road signs or your gardening or you're soft washing the side of a building and you're using your van as your point of work so you've got a pressure washer in your van and that's on the road and you're on a live traffic highway you should be in compliance with the laws and regulations on vehicle lighting so there are certain regulations set aside also with those of workwear for working on highways or if you're working on a motorway there are certain restrictions to speed limits on beacons for example 60 70 miles an hour um, that's what they're rated to until they blow off the roof with the suction cup and magnets. So I'll touch upon a few points. So ECE Echo Charlie Echo Regulation 65 is a paragraph which is set aside for the government with regards to lighting and the lighting on vehicles for work purposes. So I'll dyslexically read out a few paragraphs. So chapter 8 regulation 65 so 05.3 roof mounted beacons and light bars so that's the subject paragraph 5.31 without prejudice to specific requirements of the following sections any vehicle stopping on the highway for works purposes or inspection shall be equipped with either roof mounted flashing amber warning lights comprising of two independent light sources and flashing amber beacons may be visible through 360 degrees so ideally you need two beacons on your roof that are fully visible from a 360 degree radius and then you've got uh, another section here section 5.3.3 if the main roof mounted beacon is likely to be obscured from the rear parts of the vehicle or any equipped carried on the vehicle in addition to beacons should be fitted towards the rear of the vehicle to remain visible so for an example here in North Devon where I live the local Southwest Water Board they have a lot of long wheelbase high top Peugeot boxer vans you may find that they have a four foot five foot light bar or various beacons comprising of clear or amber units bolted upon aluminium box section or stainless steel laser cut risers to ensure that that lamp is higher on the rear of the vehicle so anyone coming from the front of the vehicle can see the lamp mounted on the rear so if you can't see your your vehicle mounted beacon from the front of your vehicle while it's on the back it needs to be risen up for example you have to excuse my wheezy cough so the roof mounted beacon shall be in use when entering or leaving a site when traveling in traffic as less than general traffic speed or any stationary on a hard shoulder so basically chapter 8 regulation 65 applies to anyone working on a highway moving on a highway less than traffic speed motorways private land 
So if you're not using the correct beacons and there is an accident and you are found to be a cause for that accident and someone says, I wasn't able to see their beacons and they were working, the health and safety directive could come down on you big time, but it's not something I'm familiar with. Also, beacons, for example, so many beacons available. You can go onto Amazon, you can go into eBay, you can type in LED grill mounted beacons, roof mounted beacons, and you'll have a whole host of cheap plastic Chinese beacons that are less than 0.5 watts per LED. They look a bit flashy when you plug them in at night, but when you have them on your vehicle, they're very dim and very undirectional or poorly made. So for example, these cheap blue beacons, these were from eBay and already the cable restraints and the bare wires are showing and these are meant to be waterproof, but they're absolute garbage. They were probably about two pounds each. I purchased a whole bulk, bulk of these to modify some light bars for a private fire service that offered fire and rescue for the film effects and events industry. So these were being legally used in off-road circumstances for emergency vehicles. But again, they look nice, but it, they're on an aluminium back plate. There's a small screw holding them together with a very thin bead of silicon sealant. And I know from experience having amber versions of this particular mounted surface on a vehicle, the water ingress from rain, pressure washing, gets into these in a matter of weeks and then the LED chipsets start to short out and you'll have one LED working in one, one in another and they're absolutely dreadful. So many good companies that I deal with and I can recommend. You've got beacons and light bars that you can find on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, they also have a very good website, very good customer service and they have a whole host of beacons that are made specifically for various applications, including vehicle work lighting, signage, anything that you need, they sell it, but they do not do cheap Chinese inferior rubbish. A lot of stuff is made in China, however, but certain companies use com other companies that are reputable and they've been proven to have units that are tested and quality control passed. Light Bar UK, you can find them on YouTube, internet, they're also on Instagram. This is the Lap Electronics. I believe it's a 1200, a 1200 uh, magnetic mount. Uh, it's a regulation 65 beacon, chapter eight, with its three watt LED chipsets. So it's bright, it's directional. I think it has about 10 flash patterns. Again, this is tested. It's European compliant. So it's very high quality polycarbonate. Again, same as this one, it's an aluminium plate so it doesn't blur in your own windscreen with a LED chipset inside that. Very good quality lighting, very legal lighting and very illegal lighting. It is illegal under road traffic laws to show any blue light from a vehicle as motorists may find they're distracted or there's an emergency vehicle coming behind them. So blue lighting on any vehicle is illegal. Blue strobes are on eBay and Amazon. Don't bother putting them on your vehicle because you will get arrested. But again, you can buy amber versions of these, but I use these for the context of the video to show quality versus poor quality. If you find the video useful and you have any questions whatsoever, and they're good questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If there's anything that I can't answer, I will push it towards the suppliers of the beacons that I have, Beacons and Light Bars or Light Bars UK, two very good companies. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It helps my channel out massively. And thank you very much for watching.